Good morning. Okay, it's day three, and it's right now like eight twenty-three in Thailand, Hua Hin. So now we are heading out to either Tak or Chiang Mai. Tak is about five hundred and fifty kilometers. Chiang Mai is about eight hundred odd kilometers. So we will catch up with you guys. Ciao. We just came out of the thunderstorm. Wow, man, it was crazy, man. But lucky the sun is back, and yeah, we stopped at a very beautiful scenery here. Um, so we just wanted to test our equipments and do some nice drone shots. We still got another three hundred over kilometers to go. But then, uh, wow, the scenery. I mean, up north, above Bangkok. We are looking at beautiful sceneries, man. Okay, um, let's see what the guys are doing. As I was saying, they were doing some mic tests. They're doing. Hello. <laughs> we are the countryside uh, of uh, near to Nakhon Sawan, but haven't reached Nakhon Sawan yet. Uh, we are still very far away from our destination, but. Uh, Pretty sure we're gonna reach uh, about by 9 p.m. I guess. Hopefully. But the weather has really slowed us down tremendously, so I guess we are just to take our own tea time and reach there. Doesn't matter, you know, as long as we reach safely. Yeah. <laughs> We are at Nakhon Sawan. Um, the time is uh, six o five uh, Thailand time. So we came here to actually top up our tanks uh, for gas and also uh, maybe have dinner. I'm not so sure. But when we did an inspection of the bikes, we always do this. We came to find out that there was a bird stuck in Izam's bike. So let's take a look at the bird. 
But before that, let's take a look what Nizam has to say first. I just killed the bird. I'm just so sad. <laughs> Good Sajif, what are you going to say about that? We didn't want any road kill. I was expecting a bird on my bike because uh, there was a lot of low flying aircrafts. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, it was on Nizam's bike. Take a look, uh, you can actually see the bird stuck here. Can you guys see the bird stuck here? Yeah, so basically, it's we try to take it out in a hole. So it actually went through here, this part of the bike. Okay, and then it, we, we saw feathers. And then when we did an inspection, then we saw this. It's like, what? So now we're going to take out the bird. Take a look. Uh, Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is oh dear. I'm so sorry, man. You're a beautiful creature. Well, rest in peace, my brother. We have about 199 click to our destination at Tak. Uh, so, unfortunately, we did a roadkill. It's an unfortunate roadkill. Uh, initially, I was actually expecting it on my bike because uh, I was the first bike and there were too many birds flying pretty low. Um, we were not speeding, but it's just that they just crossed our path. We couldn't do anything. And regrettably, Nizam's bike was uh, the unfortunate incident where his bike, a bird was stuck on his bike instead. So we just took out the bird and uh, we'll be doing a short break here and then after that we'll be heading to Tap. That's pretty much all. Come on in. We just checked in into PA Tani Hotel uh, in Nakon Sawan. We couldn't make it to Tak because of the weather which slowed us, slowed us down a lot. And uh, so we want to rest for the night because we don't really like to travel or ride in the night, especially up north side because it's very dangerous and it's too dark. Okay, come, let me show you this beautiful hotel. It's four stars, Thailand four stars. And we are very happy about it. We just paid twenty-seven dollars Singapore dollars. Come on, two big spacious bed. Let me show you the balcony. So as you can see, the beautiful balcony, and it's a very beautiful view of uh, Nakhon Sawan. Quiet town, but yeah, man, it's beautiful. Thailand is just beautiful. Very clean. I don't want to dirty my boots. Shower area is here. Nice shower area. A sink is here. Then there's a nice fridge. Nothing in the fridge. We're gonna rest here tonight. So tomorrow we'll be heading to Chiang Mai. Uh, it's about 400 and about 500, nearly 500. Click about 440. What a beautiful day it is to leave Nakhon Sawan to Chiang Mai. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful day with my nomads. My nomads. Yeah. Let's, uh, Sajiv. Hey, what's How's up, man? everything going, man? We are also on camera. Oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, and how about this arm? Doing good, looking good. Looking good, looking good. Awesome, awesome. Let's. Go!
we have actually just stopped at a random place. Uh, it's a kampung. Kampung, uh, to those who don't know, it's a kampung. Uh, it's a very old uh, attached house kind of estate. We just randomly stopped here because we just wanted to have a drink and actually we saw a river which actually leads to the Bumipol Dam. We didn't know this. A local actually told us uh, from, from the shop. You can see the shop behind me. Okay, so this is the shop we just stopped at. So, okay, so this is their little shop. They have like a, their home. And what your your name again? Kai. Kai. And King. So yeah, we have Kai and King. So this is their shop uh, that they have in what's it? Tak, right? Tak. Tak, yeah. In Tak. So you can actually take a look. It's a makeshift home and a shop. That's actually pretty nice. As usual, Mr. Sajiv. Uh, one more thing is it's pretty hazy in Thailand. Enjoying the ride. And it's very hot, easy, very easy especially. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah man. Currently, we are at um, Bumipol Dam in the province of Tak, Thailand. So, you can see behind me uh, is the amazing Bumipol uh, Dam. It's, uh, it's really massive and beautiful, I would say. Uh, but the haze is kind of bad here. Wow. Wow. Simply amazing, man. So, this is the amazing, massive. King Bumi Pole Dam. Yeah, it's a bit uh, hazy, I would say. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of a dry season now. So, we are now heading to uh, Chiang Mai. Um, I think it's another about 200 odd kilometers. What do you gotta say? This is the Bumi Pole Dam. Uh, it's a very nice place, but as you can see, it's very, very hazy here. Very, very hazy. 